I think that um, slavery conjures up images for people around kind of a historical aspects. Unfortunately today though, it is still alive and well. I think today that we uh, have updated that term to be around modern day slavery. And for us in children's services, that means linking it to children being exploited. Children being exploited, people are trafficked, that is being moved for the purpose of exploitation. And children who are involved in, in, in being sexually exploited or sexually abused, and those children being criminally exploited. And a lot of that for Hampshire really is about uh, drugs and what's going on for antisocial behaviour. Um, what we try to do within the Willow team is form a trusted relationship with children. That's really important. So it helps us deal with some of the, the real awful things that happen to children because of this type of exploitation. It is multi-agency and we find that's really important over time. We work very closely with police colleagues and health and education. We work within schools and we try wherever we can to do joint working. It's also about um, education of children. So the grooming line, what it feels like to be in a good, safe, positive, fulfilling relationship rather than one that's abusive. And if children are aware of what that looks like, then they're more able to take decisions that are going to keep them safe within their wider community. We think about the context of children within their communities because what we do know is that most of the child exploitation and abuse doesn't take place within children's homes. It happens outside of the home, within the communities, within school, within places and spaces within the wider community. So some of the, the significant signs we see around modern day slavery and so child exploitation actually are changes in behaviour within children. <clears throat> Quite often we see that um, children who've got a, a stable okay friendship group are in school, are not going missing, behaviour is okay, actually accelerate quite quickly into being secretive, changing their peer group, feeling out of control. The secretiveness is really important because lots of parents perhaps presume that that's part of the normal teenage development, but, but it looks quite different for children being exploited. Uh, sometimes their language changes, their friends change, sometimes they've now got a, a cohort of peer group of older people uh, who've got cars and, and then children start to go missing just not for an hour or so but for, for, for days and overnights as well. It's about having that open conversation with your children and about cultivating um, an environment where openness is key and you are able to check your child's phone without it being a particular issue. It's when things like that change that those should be the red lights flagging up for parents to start thinking actually this is this is different, this is not how we how we how we work and behave as a family.